So I'm Sue Troyan and this is Fran Troyan. I am the women's basketball coach at Lehigh. And I am the women's softball coach at Lehigh. We have been at Lehigh for 29 years. I think it's been about 29 years. You came here in the fall of 1988 and I came in the fall of 1989. And uh, I remember this day uh, as clearly as possible. It and he was, doesn't remember much. So and I don't just, remember much, but this was that. really, really important to me. It was December 24th, 1989, and Sue was visiting you know, my family way up in the northwestern part of Pennsylvania in the middle of the Allegheny National Forest. She made the long trip up to ask my parents if um, I could get married to her. And um, my mom was a little disconcerted, and she said, we will give you permission, but you have to learn how to make the Franwich and not only make it, but make it the right way. And so it took Sue, I don't know, what was it, 15, 20 times to be able to make it to my mom's satisfaction, but. Actually she, about 30 years to make it to his mom's satisfaction, but she but, did let me marry him. But she agreed to uh, allow us to get married back on December 24th, 1989. And uh, that's how the, the Franwich was, was born. And uh, it's a great, great sandwich. Yep. Okay, so we butter our bread, right? Most well, certainly. Whole butter. Definitely. Whole. Lots of good butter on the, bre on oh, the bread. Yeah. The whole thing just painted up. Pretty cool. Get it going. We also like to put a little bit of the whole butter on the grill. Nice. Should we throw some butter and onions on the grill, too? Some butter right there for my onions. Okay. Onion. Spanish onions. Extra, okay. extra high sugar content. I also like to heat up my sauerkraut to get it caramelized too. I love that. That's like Good my, idea. one of my favorite things. That's why Mama did it. Mama Rose! Mama Rose would be proud right now! And it has awesome sweet kielbasa. Okay. It's delicious. And I cut, I cut it down the way so that it's easier. We get good kind of grills on it. Beautiful. And then now is what I'd probably end up putting on my cheese. Okay. Now everything's working. You got the time to hang out. Nice. Looks beautiful. Oh, yeah. Love it. Give it some time to melt. So right now on the grill, I have it over on. This is the low heat side. This is the high heat side. So it's really good for, for searing meat to get them all nice and crispy up. And then in the middle here, it's good for caramelizing onions, okay. caramelizing the sauerkraut. Over here. It does remind me of being in Fran's house, to be honest with you. Yeah. Same kind of smells when his mom makes it. Yeah, it literally that. took me about 10 years to get it right for Rose, too. She has a high standard on the sandwich. Leave it good. Push it over. A little flip. Okay. That, 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 that nice caramelization on it. Move my onions to the high side. I'll move my bread down a little bit. Okay. And this sauerkraut is pretty much good now. You can see there's not a lot of steam coming off. But I need most of the residual water is okay. cooked, cooked away. Now it won't make it soggy, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. And plus, that nice Swiss cheese will act as a little barrier. Okay. And uh, so now this is going to sit here. You can kind of feel, kind of see a little bit. It's caramelizing, yeah. the bubbling action going on. Okay. You can start it off low, you get your, your cheese up, you know, melting, and stuff like that. You crisp it last second. I think it's going to stay a little crispy, a little longer. So, these onions are getting there. Nice. I'm going to go ahead and the bosses are done. This one, has the perfect. Perfect. this one has a funny spout on it. It's down a little layer. I've never seen anything like it. I'm gonna check last second check on my on my bread. It's nice and crispy. Oh, look at that. The Franwich. That's the Franwich. So I'm a very poor loser and as a little kid growing up if I lost a little league uh, baseball game I would cry and pout and to kind of get me out of that my mom would make me because she's German a German sandwich it was on um, marble rye bread sauerkraut and Swiss cheese sounds really really simple uh, but it was great and my dad if my mom wasn't around he would make me a kielbasa and onion sandwich and so on one day, we, I had a bad high school basketball game loss. My mom was there, my dad was there. They were fighting to make me each their own sandwich. And I said, I love both of you guys. 
you guys can come up with something and, and make a sandwich where you can combine it. And that's how the sandwich was born. So it's a combination German sandwich, Polish sandwich with, uh, you know, uh, some Polish kielbasa, some sauerkraut, some onions, and marble rye uh, with a little Swiss cheese thrown on top of it. It, it might not sound wonderful, but I'm telling you, it's absolutely fantastic. It's actually fantastic. And Fran still has a hard time when he loses. So if he ever loses a really bad softball game, this is what I make him. It's Going what? back to his childhood. And, and it brings me it brings me out of the funk. <laughs>